welcome again to NWA Vet Presents. Today, we're going to talk about filing a presumptive claim. With the signing of the PACT Act, there are many more veterans now eligible to file for presumptive illnesses from the Gulf War and beyond. However, much like with Agent Orange, there is some understanding that needs to come with this eligibility. Can I file for Agent Orange? Can I file for burn pits? This is the question that many veteran service officers receive from veterans. A Vietnam veteran will walk in and say he wants to file for Agent Orange. Now veterans are beginning to say they want to file for burn pits. The thing is, there is no such thing as filing a claim for Agent Orange or filing a claim for burn pits. Remember that veterans file disability claims with the VA. The key word here is disability. Agent Orange and burn pits are causes of disabilities. They are not disabilities in and of themselves. Look at it this way. A person could deploy to Iraq, participate in operations over a year, and return from deployment with absolutely no ill effects. They leave the service and suffer nothing from the time they were in Iraq. If they are not having any problems, then there is no claim. The only time a claim comes into the picture is when the veteran has a condition that can be traced back to service. And that's where presumptive conditions come in. Remember that there are three requirements for a successful disability claim with the VA. These three are a current diagnosis, an incident in service, and a way to connect these two. The presumptive illnesses cover the third requirement. If you are diagnosed with one of the presumptive illnesses and you were present in any of the countries covered under the PACT Act, then you don't have to worry about finding a way to connect your illness to service. The VA will assume that it is connected. However, you still have the first two requirements. You need a diagnosis of one of the presumptive illnesses. The incident in service is simply your presence in the country during the right time frame. So what are these presumptive illnesses? We'll take a look at Agent Orange first, and then we'll look at burn pits and airborne toxins. Here are the cancers that are presumed to be caused by Agent Orange. Now, I'm not going to be reading all of these as we look at them, you can read generally as well as I can. So I'm just going to say that these are the cancers. And notice for the soft tissue sarcomas, it's not all soft tissue sarcomas. And there's a note there letting you know what it's not including. Here are the other illnesses presumed to be caused by Agent Orange. I want you to note especially for the last three illnesses on this slide, under VA rating regulations, they must be at least 10 cent disabling within one year of herbicide exposure. In other words, they have to have been present and rated at 10% by the VA within one year of your last exposure to Agent Orange. Noted on the VA website when it's dealing with Agent Orange. Other illnesses. According to the VA, if you have a cancer or an illness that's not on our list of presumptive conditions, but you believe it was caused by Agent Orange exposure, you can still file a claim for VA disability benefits. But you're going to need to submit more evidence. There's got to be some type of evidence that it is connected to uh, to Agent Orange. Uh, you can see the VA website or talk to your veteran service officer for more information. Going on to the presumed illnesses for burn pits and airborne toxins. First of all, we have the cancers. All of these cancers are presumed to be related to burn pits and or airborne toxins. And notice when you deal with some of them, head cancer, gastrointestinal, uh, reproductive, respiratory, it's cancer of those systems of any type. So it, they're not, they're not uh, saying it can only be one type 
of respiratory cancer. It can be any type of respiratory cancer. To the other illnesses which are presumed, we've got things like asthma and COPD, along with what was already presumed, the chronic rhinitis and chronic sinusitis. Now remember, I've got diagnosis equals disability here. You need a diagnosis before you file for a disability. Specifically, if we're talking about Agent Orange or burn pits, you must have a diagnosis of one of those presumptive illnesses we just looked at in order to file a successful claim for the disability. You can't just file in general for Agent Orange or burn pit. You have to have a diagnosis of something. And that's that. Presumptive means that the VA is presuming these list of illnesses were caused by exposure to the toxins. It's up to you to seek medical attention and actually get diagnosed with what's wrong. As always, I want to thank you for watching. You can find us online at nwavet.org or on Facebook at slash nwavet. Or you can email us at info at nwavet.org. Please go ahead and subscribe to keep up with when the next video comes out. And please share this video with any veterans or family members who may benefit from the information. Y'all take care out there and watch out for each other. NWA